Hello, I'm Jobin, an operations engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how AWS Managed Services customers can exclude their Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances from being patched. Let's get started. Patch Orchestrator customers can exclude instances from patching by themselves, so let me show you how. First, create an RFC to provision a test maintenance window with a schedule that is never executed. To create this maintenance window RFC, after logging into AWS Management Console, navigate to the Services drop-down list at the top and then enter and select Managed Services. In the Managed Services Console, navigate to RFCs through the navigation pane in left. Choose the Create RFC button in the top right portion of the content pane. On the next screen, you can choose to search the RFC change type either by entering the keywords or by entering category, subcategory, item, operation. To search the correct change type ID, enter Create SM Patch Window. Select the entry Create SM Patch Window and click Create RFC. Or to search the change type on the basis of category, subcategory, item, operation, select deployment as category, patching as subcategory, SSM patch window as item, and create as operation. Click create RFC. On the next page, enter a subject or title of the RFC. Add a description of the RFC such as what you want it to do. For now, let's skip the additional configuration and email notifications and assume the schedule to be ASAP. Name. Provide a name so that you can identify the maintenance window. For example, something like test maintenance window. Patch group. Enter the values of the patch group tag key. You can create a meaningful tag like do not patch as this maintenance window will target the instance that are not to be patched. Schedule. You can enter a pass date in the execution schedule. For example, something like the following cron job. This schedules the maintenance window to open at 10 a.m. UTC on the 1st of January 2020, which is a date in past. Duration. You can enter any value in hours here. Notification emails. You can enter a tab separated list of up to 5 email addresses that will receive the notification about the patch execution. Additional configuration. For the purpose of this video and simplicity, we won't enter any values here because this maintenance window will never open again in future. Click run. After you submit the RFC, you might need to wait for a minute or two before it succeeds. After the RFC status succeeds, you can scroll down the page to find the AWS CloudFormation stack ID and the maintenance window ID. The second part of this procedure is to tag the instance with the value of the patch group tag that you previously mentioned in the maintenance window RFC. To do this, follow the previous steps to navigate to the RFC section in the Managed Services Console and choose Create RFC. You can search the correct change type ID by entering the Update Resource Tags, selecting the option Update Resource Tags Auto and click Create RFC. Or you can choose Select by Category, select Management as Category, Advanced Tag Components as Subcategory, Tag as Item, and Update Auto as Operation, and click Create RFC. In the next page, enter a subject or title of the RFC. Add a description of the RFC, such as what you want it to do. For now, let's skip the additional configuration and email notifications and assume the schedule to be ASAP. Enter the region where the instance is. For example, in this case, it's in the EU West Fund region. Under the parameters, enter the instance ID into resource ARNs field. You can enter multiple instance IDs by pressing the tab key. Expand the additional configuration drop-down list and enter the tag key value pair in the following format. 
In this case, the tag key is patch group and the value is same as what we mentioned before in test maintenance window RFC, which is do not patch. Please note that the values of tags are case sensitive. Choose the run button to create the RFC. After the RFC succeeds, you can find that the tag value on the instance is changed. For this example, the instance won't be patched. If you want to allow the instance to be patched in future, change the patch group tag on the instance by raising the update tag RFC that I showed earlier. Then associate it with the value mentioned in one of the desired maintenance windows in your account. So now you know how to exclude your instances from patching. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.